Hello students, welcome to AC Engineering. In this video, I am going to explain you how to determine the mechanical translational system related problem in control system. In the last video, I explained in the simpler way how to determine transfer function in five steps. So before entering into this video, you just recollect, you just go through the previous video, what are all the five steps given and what are all the basics required to solve the transfer function related problem. Coming back to the problem side, and this is a kind of a question. Write the differential equation governing the mechanical system shown in the diagram and determine the transfer function. Now look it over the given diagram. See here. This is what an reference. Fine. So, this is what an reference. Here in this problem, we have two masses. What it means? Two nodes here. So, mass 1, mass 2. Totally in this given diagram, we have two nodes. And what are all the other elements connected? dash part B, it is given in a problem as it is, so we consider it as an B. Here in the problem, the spring connected in between the two masses given with the letter K. And in between mass 1 and reference is represented with K1. So as far as the notation given here, we consider the same for a solution. And in between the reference and the mass 2, here a dash part B2 is connected. In between reference and mass M1, dash part 1 is connected. Here the force is the pulling force, not pushing force, pulling force is away from mass 2, F of T. In the last video, hopefully you can understand how many number of nodes, that many number of displacement. Here one force is given, but according to two masses, definitely we have an two displacements. The displacements are given in a problem as x1 for m1, x for m2. Now get into the solution part. So we are asked to determine the transfer function. So before into the solution part, first you have to keep it in your mind. What is need to be determined? The transfer function means what is transfer function or defined transfer function is a Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input with zero initial condition. So in that aspect here what should be the output or what should be the input? Input is force. Because of the force it causes the displacements that is the basic. So how many displacements we have? Two displacement which is the end displacement. End displacement is x. So the output is displacement occurred in mass 2. Where the input is given? There we have an output displacement. See here input f of t. Output x. So what is need to be required? Laplace transform of output means x in s domain as x of s. Then input in s domain as f of s. This is what the transfer function so, in order to determine this transfer function only, we are going to proceed for a solution part. So, before going for the solution, 
you just uh, know what is required to be and step 1 step 1 from the given problem we knew that there are two masses means two nodes as per step 2 linear displacements are considered here two masses so two displacements x1 and x2 but in a given problem they number it as x1 and x only so we also use the same notation and the third one is a free body diagram so free body diagram means none other than what are all the forces acting on the mass see here how many number of masses that many number of free body diagram here two masses so we have to draw free body diagram for mass 1 and free body diagram for mass 2 first consider free body diagram of mass 1 and simultaneously we proceed with step 4 and 5 what is step 3 free body diagram step 4 differential equation step 5 taking a laplace transform fine so we are proceeding all the three steps for mass 1 first so mass 1 while we are applying an force here there is no force application the force is applied only in mass 2 so here the applied force is 0 then what are all the other forces acting so other forces means consider what are all the elements connected with the mass they have their own opposing force if there is no direct applied force here that's why applied force is zero now draw the free body diagram what are all the opposing forces here or what are all the elements connected mass one has its own opposing force so opposing force see applied force away from away from mass that's why opposing force towards mass 1. So, opposing force M1. Then what are all the other elements connected? B, K, K1 and B1. So, there are 5 opposing forces. K1. Then B1, B and K. And then students write the force balance equation for all the forces acting on mass 1. So for mass 1 its own opposing force m1 d square x1 by dt square for b means a dash part b1 dx by dt. Why dx1 by dt? Here b1 is the dash pass connected in between reference and m1 now the dash part b b is connected in between two masses means two nodes means there should be an differential velocities occur because of this displacement x1 and x2 sorry x so for b it is b into d by dt of x1 minus x. Now a question arised in your mind. Why to write x1 minus x? Why not x minus x1? Well, now we are taking an force balance equation for mass 1. That's why we are writing it's a x1 minus x. So while you are writing an again force balance equation, by considering mass 2, now the B is again between M2 and M1. On that time, the differential velocities are X minus X1. Fine. Now, could you understand how to write the equation if it is for M1? Writing and force balance equation for B for M1. It is x1 minus x. Again, if you are writing a force balance equation for again the same b, 
by considering m2 it is x minus x1 this is the concept then force balance equation for k1 see here k1 between reference so only one force x1 that's why it becomes x1 k1 coming back to k k in between m1 and m2 that's why x1 minus x on which time by writing an force balance equation for m1 it has become x1 minus x now according to newton's second law all the forces acting on opposing force is equal to applied force applied force no applied force so zero opposing force all five forces m1 own mass own mass force m1 k1 b1 b and k so all the summation of forces simply write all the force balance equation plus 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 equal to zero then students now we have completed step 3 and step 4 for mass 1 we are writing a differential equation by considering all the opposing forces is equal to zero applied force now the next step on taking a laplace transform for the differential equation what we have derived from mass 1 with a zero initial condition now we are all well aware of m1 d square x1 by dt square is none other than s square x1 of s plus b1 dx1 by dt as s x1 of s then b d by dt d by dt of x1 minus x so it becomes d by dt as s x1 of s minus x of s plus k1 k1 x1 of s plus k into x1 of s minus x of s equal to 0 now what is the next step we have to make an arrangement what is our required transfer function output x of s by f of s this is our requirement so we need x of s and the f of s f of s is not applicable here in this mass 1 so again make an rearrangement take an common x1 of s term and make an equation then take an common x of s term and make an equation equal to 0 now x1 of s so this is the variable we won't need it for our required transfer function so instead we have to make an x of s by f of s so x1 of s term rearrange an equation and write an expression in terms of x of s why we are writing in terms of x of s again a question arises in our mind because the transfer function what we require is x of s by f of s we no way need x1 of s that's why in this expression our x1 of s is written in terms of x of s students could you understand now you freeze this as equation number 1 students now again we are continuing the step 3 4 5 for mass 2 free body diagram of mass 2 now in mass 2 we have applied force it's an pulling force away from then all the opposing forces are towards mass what are all the opposing forces means what are all the elements connected with the mass 2 as own opposing force m2 and b k b2 and its displacement is x which is given in a problem as x that's why we taken it as x only now consider an equation free uh, force balance equation for m2 b2 b 
and k according to newton's second law applied force f of t is equal to all the opposing forces m2 b2 b k so similarly we write an force balance equation substitute force balance equation equal to f of t so there, there is no ex further explanation for writing an force balance equation for mass 2 but we have to keep in mind that fb fb here see fb is a dashboard connected in between m2 and the m1 so for writing an m2 we can here given differential expression as x minus x1 why x minus x1 because x is the displacement for m2 for writing m2 it becomes x minus x1 for writing m1 what is the uh, displacement that is comes in the first term here also k k is a spring connected in between mass 2 and 1 now for writing in mass 2 the differential variable for displacement comes as x so it is x minus x1 equal to f of t now taking a laplace transform it is very easier for you m2 d square by dt square as s square then x of s b2 where dx by dt as s x of s b here we have two differential two displacement r while it is kind of, um, considered as a velocity here so b is x of s minus x1 of s then for k k into x s x of s minus x1 of s equal to frequency domain where means time domain to s domain or frequency domain so f of t is expressed as f of capital f of s in s domain then rearrange the expression by taking x1 of x of s as a common x1 of s as common which is equal to applied force f of s in laplace transform freeze it as an expression number 2 so this is our expression number 1 we derived from mass 1 and this is an expression we derived from mass 2 now students we already know our required transfer function is x of s by f of s now we won't need x1 of s now substitute x1 of s value from expression number 1 and in 2 mere substitution so all the terms are here x of s m2 s square plus b2 plus b into s plus k minus now instead x1 of s you substitute this value what is this value x of s b s plus k divided by m1 s square plus b1 plus b into s plus k1 plus k all as x1 of s term and next term b s plus k into b s plus k equal to f of s now coming back to the expression taking an lcm the denominator becomes the same denominator denominator becomes same denominator in the numerator side all the terms are now becoming x of s so take x of s as a common for taking an lcm 